Good morning. So I'm doing a pre-recorded video for today's lot instead of a live. Um, so today I'm going to show you our my January 2020. I have it finished, and my fam this is my family Project Life album. Um, I do monthly Project Life for my family album, and uh, so Stampin' Up used to sell these black a black album just like this, and so I would do um two albums a year for our family um last year or the year before they quit selling them and uh, they went to a different album and i bought one of those and that's what i used last year and since i switched to monthly i'm only using roughly one album a year i still have a couple months left to do for next last year so i'm hoping i can still fit it all in one album um but i started my january album i printed all my pictures for the month so I go into my phone, which I'm using it to record, or I'd show you, and I have a file a file in my photos that says the month and the year. So it says January 2020, and then I have I put all my pictures as I take them in there. If my niece sends me pictures of the babies, I put them in there. Um, if I screenshot something that I find is funny or, or whatever, I put it in there. So... Um, this year I wanted the black, I wanted to go back to the black albums cause I like these. Um, so I got this on Amazon and, uh, and it was about the same price as Stamp when Stampin' Up sold them. I wish we still sold them. This one I already have a scratch on, but so I bought the b black cause I like the black and then I shared with you my title page. Um, so I'm going to show you all of January, 2020 too. Um, like I said, this is my title page. This is my husband and I. This is our do house dog, Jack. And this is my son. Okay? So, what I do for pro my project life, this is how I do it. So, I did a 2020. The, all my, I did these for every month. And I just have them sitting to the side. I'm going to put them in the album. But, I, you can't even, you probably cannot see this. Let me open this. So, what I do is a two-page spread. This is this for each month. So I just take, uh, yeah, so it'll, uh, this is the two page spread for January. And this is just some miscellaneous pictures. I got my nails done. We had a snowstorm. Um, the, and just some scenery at the house, Zachary checking the mail. And then this is my purse after running errands. I, my husband and my son tell me I carry a big purse. Well, this is why, cause I throw everything in my purse. And then there's a couple of selfies. And then this is a Stampin' Up! order that I purchased and then a meal that we cut, I cooked that we enjoyed. So what I will do is on my journaling cards, I will do, I will enable these one, two, three, four, five, and I'll write what each picture is. And that is just like my monthly spread. So in between the monthly spread, I tell other stories. Okay. So for those stories, I'm going to show you, let me put this. Okay. I can't fit it all in the camera, so that's what the problem is. Okay, so if you look here, so I have, I printed one of these pages for every month, and I put important things to us, like birthdays, and then we, um, two of our older babies, we have a kennel, we lost them, and um, they were 14, so it was hard. Um, and then in the back, I just put a piece of the designer series paper. This month, I chose to use the um, Hostess paper called pattern party so I just took a full a sheet cut it down glued my cat glued it to the back of my calendar so it's all one and then this was a birthday card I received um and so I can just put anything I want to keep down in there okay so I have I, I did this for each month I don't have them filled out but each month and then I'll put anything important that happens and then I can put any cards or anything that I receive so then I did this page is for me for my birthday so my birthday is right there at the beginning of January. So this is a selfie that I took. And then this was, I went, my sister, I went and met her and she gave me flowers and cupcakes from my two sisters for my birthday. It was very sweet. And these are the flowers. And then I got my nails done for my birthday. And then, like I said, it's just another picture. So this is just a six by eight page protector. And so I will just do other stories and different page configurations. This is just some more 2022 pictures. Um, 
So the Bengals won the AFC and they were going to the Super Bowl. And so these were shared on my Facebook. So I screenshotted them. This is my um, this is my meme for that I use for my Stampin' Up! business. So I, this was a Bitmo and I just printed it. I created this with stickers on white paper. And then of course Betty White passed away, which she passed away in December. But it was right there at the beginning of the month. Or end of the month. So I just did a... Like, I did this as, a, like, a flip. And it's, like, two pictures of Betty White. And then this talks about her. And I, why I wanted to document this is because it was really sad for me. I used to watch Betty White with my uh, Golden Girls with my mom a long time ago. And I loved the Golden Girls. So, then on the back here is my beloved Buckeyes. Um, and so, these were just screenshots from the, um, from Facebook. Of the different they broke a record this is the game where we won um, they won the Rose Bowl so it was just um, so I just wanted to document that I love my Buckeyes okay so then these you would have seen last week these are baby layouts um, Annalise was born which is my niece's little girl and so I went a little bit overboard <laughs> with my pictures of her and I created a bunch of traditional layouts of her so you've seen some of these some of them you'll have it um these are her two little brothers aiden and uh, aiden and nico and holding her and this is mommy and daddy with her and then these are just some sh shots that my niece so she sends my niece sends me pictures all the time of the kids and i just incorporate them into my project life so these are my babies she this is pinto and this is mud pie and they passed away at the end of January, which, so I wanted to document that. And then we had, um, these are all pictures I sold off of Facebook. Um, we had a really bad, uh, winter storm, but somebody took these really beautiful pictures and posted them and I was like, Oh, and so I would screenshot it and save it. So that, that's where I got those. And then these are the ones we took around our house and where my son works. And then I don't know why, but lately we've gotten, my I, my niece and I, um, we take pictures of the food we cook or like this is a pizza we got and it was from a new place. So I sent her a picture and then these are just different meals that I cooked in the month of January and would share with her and then she could know whether she wanted to make them. And then the other big news in January was we got our, our third COVID shot. All three of us got our boosters. And so... I wanted to document that and for whatever reason I did not get a picture of Zachary um, mostly I took Ernie <laughs> I do take a tend to take a lot of pictures of him um, and then this is the end of January so that's all of the pages for January and then I will set up February I'm gonna use the six by six paper um, sunshine and rainbows for February and I just ordered all my pictures so I can set it up um, so what I do when I set up my album is I did two design A pages. I printed my calendar, put it in a page protector, and then I will just do like a solid color on the back here since I'm using the six by six. But I'll go ahead and get this set up. And then I, the back of this will be March. I did the March calendar and I have all the calendars through the end of the year. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to fit the whole year in here because hello, that's a lot of pages for January, but we'll see. And um, check back in a couple weeks and I will have February. I'll do a video with February so you can see it. And that is a flip through of my January 20 by 2022 in my Project Life family album. Thank you.